<sighs> All right, guys, what's up? This is, <laughs> it's been a hot minute. It's been like a month, I guess. Um, and in this video, I wanted to talk about Time Paradox and Ghost Rider. And I know this video is super, super late, but um, yeah, the series ended, unfortunately. And I, the last video I made on it was like chapter 10. And um, I believe it ended on chapter 14. Um, damn, I'm, I'm, I'm really upset that it ended, but I definitely saw it coming uh, throughout like the, the videos that I was making. I kept on saying like, bro, like, I don't really like the way this story pace is going. And uh, I feel like they're not expanding on this as much as they could have. And, you know, like lo and behold, I was right. It, it did end up getting like rushed towards the end. And we will dive into a bit what I did not talk about, but I, I want to say overall that, you know, I'm actually pretty pleased with the ending. I think that it actually wrapped up quite nicely. I, I don't think, like with a lot of series, it just like ends like super abruptly and uh, it's just super rushed. But I think, I think un, 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 unfortunately, I believe the authors knew that they were going to get the ax. So uh, they kind of set up the ending a little bit more. Um, than perhaps other authors would have. Um, but yeah, so let's jump into it. I'm not gonna go super in depth, but we'll talk about like the main, the main key points that happened uh, since I last talked about the series. Uh, so the last chat, the last video I made, uh, it, it showed from Aino's perspective, perspective and then she collapsed. Uh, and then in the very next chapter, uh, we jump back in time to when they first split apart and it goes from Itsuki's perspective uh, wait, no, not Itsuki, I know. No, from Tepe, from Tepe. I'm forgetting the names. Uh, and it goes from Tepe's perspective and it's just talking about like in his mental state and how he, why he's drawing everything. And then, you know, how he's trying to improve. And at the end of that chapter, he gets the news that Aino died and he's just so crushed. He's so destroyed. He's like, yo, if, if she was gonna die from exhaustion this whole time, why didn't you just tell me I could have done something? And he was just, he was done. And I think in the next two chapters after that, he kind of like enters this like zone where he's talking to the robot and hmm. to be honest, I'm not too sure if we ever get the identity of the robot or if it was just f framed as some supernatural being, but essentially uh, like that the robot has already exhausted like all other, like he's already attempted to save Yitsi like thousands, millions of times before and each and every single time has failed. Uh, so that's why he took a gamble on Tepe and whatnot. Um, and then, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm not really remembering it all too well, but it, it ends, it, it's something along those lines, right? And then Tepe gets an idea of like, yo, why don't we try this? And the robot is like, oh, I never tried that. Like out of all these like millions of times I tried to save, uh, Itsuki, I've never tried that, so let's let's gamble on it because this is going to use up the last remaining bit of my power. Uh, so hopefully this will work. And what it is, right, is uh, Tepe gets sent back in time before Itsuki gets like all uh, like collapses and dies from overworking herself. And time is paused. Time is paused for everything in the world except Tepe. It's it's. It's kind of confusing, like Tepe's time is paused too in the sense that he doesn't age, he doesn't need to drink, he doesn't need to go to the bathroom, he doesn't need to eat, um, but he can still move around and think and do stuff. And, and and if he touches an item, that'll unpause time for that item. And then when he lets it go, it'll repause time. Uh, so basically what ends up happening is that Tepe spends like 10, 20 years with time frozen, and I'm studying up and drawing and coming up with ideas and he perfects, he perfects White Knight. He, he draws like 10 other perfect stories. Um, and the whole thing is like, yo, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna save uh, Itsuki. I'm not gonna go crazy. Uh, I'm gonna draw a masterpiece that'll snap her out of this. Um, and it's like, I'm not gonna go crazy. I know this is 20 years by myself. I'm not doing shit except drawing, but I'm not gonna go crazy. I have, I have focus, I have a goal. And then, you know, the last chapter was him snapping out of that time freeze and uh, going over to Itsuki's place and showing her one of the mangas and he's just like, oh bro, this is like the best thing I've ever seen before. And she's just like, yo, you're beating me. My dream is crushed now. And uh, you know, they make up. Uh, it was kind of cute because like the the moral of this, the manga that Tepe showed her, the, the one of the manga that Tepe showed her was like to eat 
eat healthy and get good sleep and whatnot. And I was like, oh my gosh, uh, that would be what something Tepe would do. But, um, and then, yeah, and then they make up at the end. Uh, Itsuki vows to start drawing manga for herself again and not just for some goal that excludes her and her passion. Uh, so instead of now drawing a manga that the whole world can enjoy, but that doesn't necessarily include her passion, she's gonna just draw something that she wants to draw, whether people like it or not, uh, which is a good step forward for her. And then, you know, at the end, there's like probably like a couple year time skip and then it just shows Tepe and Itsuki drawing uh, in their own respective uh, studios or whatever. And, you know, like I said previously, I think the ending, Obviously, the ending wasn't great, but I mean, I think that they wrapped it up quite nicely considering that it was only 14 chapters. And I mean, I don't really know how long they knew that they were going to get axed, but I mean, if you look at a lot of these other series and how their last chapter, their final chapters go, it's just like usually super, super rushed. And I think compared to those other stories that this actually ended quite nicely. And I still really, really liked it overall. I'm so bummed out that it got canceled. I, I really am bummed out about that. I did see something that in Japan, the first volume only got like 5,000 sales, which is really, really bad. Um, but wow, I'm, I'm still so upset about that. And you know, it's unfortunate because, you know, it did get that first volume in Japan, but it's never going to get that second volume to, to wrap up the story, I'm pretty sure, because uh, first of all, like I said, the first volume sold abysmally, only selling like 5,000 copies. Plus the series ended on chapter 14, and I don't really know how many chapters are in the first volume, but normally it's around like eight to 10 chapters in a volume. So even if they wanted to make a volume two, they wouldn't really have enough chapters to, unless it had to be, it would be like a really shorter volume. Uh, so yeah, I don't really think we'll ever see that uh, second volume. And obviously we'll never see the first volume in English. It'll probably stay Japanese only. Um, Cause it, this isn't a Samurai 8 situation. Cause Samurai 8 could go for like 40 something chapters. And you know, it was a big series from Sashi Kishimoto. So it wasn't some, brand new author, brand new story. Like there was actually people invested in that and it just unfortunately got canceled. And, and Jump itself was invested in it and it still got canceled, um, unfortunately. But we're not talking about Samurai. We're talking about Time Paradox Ghost Rider. And I enjoyed it. Like I said, I really, really liked it. Um, I'm sorry that I've been absent for like a month, but uh, you know, I'm trying to make videos again. So I figured I'd jump back in here and tell you my thoughts on the series getting canceled, which, uh, you know, sucks. I'm not happy about it. I think that fucking the readers, I'm sorry to curse. I am reading the curse, I apologize. Uh, the readers in Jump have no taste. I really thought that this was gonna be the next Bakuman, bro, as evidenced by my first video, like. And that video got a ton of views too. That was like, it exploded for no damn reason. <laughs> and I, so, I, so that tells me that people had a lot of interest in this and, um, they thought maybe it was gonna be the next Pokemon too. I don't know, uh, but I guess those plans didn't full plan out. Pan out plans didn't pan out. That's a that's a scheme. But um, yeah. So honestly, the new manga that had been coming out in Jump lately, I have not been reading. I, I have just not found the motivation to get invested in another new series from the Jump. So I've just been reading. Uh, established series that I know I like already. Um, some new series, I should say I'm not reading any new series. I have been reading some, but not like any that have like just started and are only on chapter one or two. Uh, but um, yeah, so I just wanted to make this final video talking about Time Paradox Ghost Rider. This will not be my final video talking about Time Paradox Ghost Rider. I do have something special coming up at a later date. I don't know how long that's going to take, maybe a couple weeks. Uh, hopefully not that long, but we'll see, right? Uh, so yeah, expect another video on Tom Paradox Rider. What could it be about? I have no clue. Uh, but <laughs> that'll wrap it up for this one. Um, yeah, so what did you guys think about Tom Paradox Ghost Rider? Did you think it needed to be canceled? Was it just not enjoyable? Or are you guys also upset that it got canceled as I am? Um, so yeah, I'm interested to see what you guys think in the comments. I'm sorry that I took so long to make this video and really any video, but uh, I'll try to be making more stuff from now on. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.